Hey guys, it's Dean here, and today I'm going to be discussing one of the best food sources inside the game, Dragon Pie. We've all been there where we've all lost HP or even died from the natural causes of Don't Starve Together. And this is due to its uncompromising survivability as its main premise of the game. No matter what character you are, no matter your skill level, from beginner to pro, you will somehow be put in a dire injured state and sometimes even die. It happens to everyone. But whenever in an injured state, eating dragon pie will give back 40 HP with an addition of 75 hunger and 5 sanity. To make dragon pie, you'll need 3 fillers with the exception of meat and mandrakes like the examples here below. And lastly, the key element in order to produce a dragon pie, dragon fruit. In this video, I will show you the simple process on how you can produce your very own dragon fruit farm and make your Don't Starve experience a thousand times more enjoyable. So starting from day one, your first step is to get seeds. Seeds can be found commonly throughout your world on the ground. Grab as much as you can, they're very easy to find and not very time consuming. Oh sh**. Easy to find and not very time consuming. Stupid birds. So over here is going to be seed number three. Three. We have another one over here. Now the next step is to get fertilizer. Fertilizer can be found near beefalo periodically over time. But the problem with this method is that it can take a while, and whenever you're farming you will need quite a bit of fertilizer, I'd say around 100 pieces. But not to worry since I will be showing a much more efficient and easier method in order to get them, the werepig method. The werepig method allows a werepig to eat resources that instantaneously turns them into fertilizer. And the process is pretty simple. All you have to do is walk around your world to find and kill mobs that drop monster meat. You will need a total of 4. Then afterwards you will need to pick up either flower petals, vegetables, fruits, light bulbs, or a combination of all of them that totals up to 100 of them because a single piece of any of these items equals 1 fertilizer. But since we can't grow vegetables or fruits without farms and due to the scarcity of flowers, my favorite resources are light bulbs which again requires looking around the map and finding a cave entrance and then afterwards doing some more map exploring to find a light bulb biome and picking up 100 light bulbs. Afterwards you will need to go up to the surface, look around your map to find a pigment and feed it all 4 of your monster meat in order to turn it into a werepig. The moment it turns into a werepig, drop all of your light bulbs or other resources mentioned previously and let the werepig consume all of them to instantly turn them into fertilizer. However, keep in mind that once it's finished consuming your resources, it can anger onto you causing it to take damage and die so either keep your distance or kill it. And finally, all you have to do is pick up the fertilizer left on the ground and put it in a chest for safekeeping. And that's it for the werepig method guys, the best and quickest strategy to fertilize your farms. Now that we learned how to get fertilizer, the next step is- oh sh Step 3 is to produce a single dragon fruit. To do so, we will be planting a bunch of regular seeds onto an improved farm, fertilizing them, and as a result, they will produce a type of fruit or veggie, but eventually, with just a couple more repetitions, it will eventually produce a dragon fruit. Being that dragon fruits are the best food source in the game, no matter how long it takes, it's always worth spending time trying to get one. And that's asparagus, so let's try again. Get some fertilizer. Nope. So now guys, we are going to do a few repetitions, but eventually we'll get one. Oh my god, a carrot again? Come on. And finally guys, after a couple seeds, you will eventually have your first very own dragon fruit. Now onto the next step. Step 4 is to start mass producing your dragon fruit. To do so, you will need dragon fruit seeds. To get dragon fruit seeds, we are going to need a bird cage and a couple more farms. After getting those set up, the step afterwards is to take your one dragon fruit, feed it to the bird, and the bird will be able to produce one to two dragon fruit seeds. Obviously, to mass produce them, we would need two seeds, because one dragon fruit seed means we can only plant, well, one dragon fruit. And we got. One dragon fruit seed. I mean, this does happen, but we're gonna need two dragon fruit seeds. There's no problem trying again. I have plenty of fertilizer. Alright, there we go. Two dragon fruit seeds. So now, wait, what the hell?
Okay, so the wiki does say that it can produce a generic seed, but I need two dragon fruit seeds. Come on, stupid bird. Come on. Oh, finally, the moment. Oh, yeah, I need to eat. But finally, guys, the moment we've all been waiting for two dragon fruit seeds. Now that we get that out of the way, we can finally start mass pro You gotta be kidding me. So step five, the last and final step is mass destruction. So step five, the last and final step is mass production. To maximize my farm efficiency, I have four farms. Therefore, obviously, I will need four dragon fruit seeds to plant. Once planted, you can either choose to wait or fertilize with whatever method you use to adjust the rate of growth. And there we go, guys. We now have four dragon fruits to do whatever we want with. So now this means we now have an efficient farm to produce an infinite amount of dragon pie to satisfy our in-game goals. And because of our endless supply of dragon fruit, we will no longer have any worries with not just hunger, but with HP as well. Dragon pie is the easiest and best food source. Well, we're not done yet. Although we have four dragon fruits, we ran out of dragon fruit seeds. So to continue mass producing them, let's feed them back to the bird and get four more seeds for our four farms. All right, I just need one more seed and we're good to go. There we go, guys. So now that we have four seeds to plant, the amount we really have is one dragon fruit. And I ran out of fertilizer. I f***ing hate farming. Alright guys, we are back! We got some more farms, some more fertilizer, and all these dragon fruits from the last harvest are now dragon fruit seeds. So now after planting, we're gonna start fertilizing since I just got them. What the f***, what now? Alright, it's winter. This sh is taking too long. All right, welcome back guys. It is now spring. We can finally plant again and it looks like the dragon fruits are just about ready. So in total, we now have nine farms here guys. Okay, that's nine seeds for my nine farms. Now let's see how much dragon fruit we have left over. Nine farms, two dragon fruits. All right guys, we are back again. I added even more farms and I switched over to Wickerbottom to use her book since we have a lot of farms now. So in total guys, I have around 40 farms. They really weren't that hard to make. All I did was go a little mining, walk around the world to get some grass here and there, and I also repeated the werepig method exactly 69 times to get the amount of poop from my farms here. But finally guys, we got 14 dragon fruits, a decent return. Now after this, there are a number of things that you guys can do. But before that, if you guys find this video helpful, consider subscribing or smash the like button. It helps me out and it's free, just like your mom. But all right guys, now that we have everything set up, we can finally make all the dragon fruits we've ever wanted and it's summer now. Honestly guys, now that we got this far, I'm not even that mad about the seasons anymore. So we're gonna go inside the caves to avoid the summer heat and in the next autumn, we can finally begin making our dragon pie heaven. All right guys, it just hit autumn. I took the summertime to get a crap ton of light bulbs for some more farms and fertilizer. Now we're gonna head up and start cooking up some dragon pie. The farms took a little bit more time than I'd expected, but all of our hard work has finally paid off because we basically now have an infinite source of HP. So now we can, what? Oh my God. 